girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm going to finally be reviewing the Garnier Fertis one minute mask. Now I know I'm super late to review these. I actually saw these for the first time when I did my collab video with Curly Penny and we did a video on how to shop for curly hair products and we were so surprised to see that these masks were silicone free. This was really big news because about, I don't know, 98% of the Garnier Fertis products have sulfate and silicone in them. So if you're trying to be CG friendly, not trying to use any sulfates, parabens, or silicones, you kinda can't really use majority of the Garnier Fertis products. So I was shocked to see that they finally made something silicone free and I appreciate when companies listen to their consumers. So I've been wanting to try these for a while. I don't know why it took me so long, but I did it because I got this box from Walmart and this whole thing was $9.88 or $9.99. It was basically $10 and you get all five of the different types of masks. So in this little probably holiday gift box, you get all five of the different masks and each mask does a different thing. So the banana one is supposed to strengthen your hair, the coconut's supposed to nourish your hair, the papaya is to repair, the avocado is to smooth, and the goji is to color protect. And you're only supposed to wear it for a minute. Now if you guys are doing my deep conditioning challenge, if not, you should be. Go back to my video. I'm doing a deep conditioning challenge where I'm challenging all of you guys to commit to deep conditioning your curls once a week. And I promise you will see an amazing difference when your hair growth, the shininess, the healthiness, repair, all that jazz if you commit to deep conditioning. And I usually say to deep condition for about 15 to 20 minutes when you do so. So the fact that these are only saying to do it for a minute I'm kind of like, I mean, how much can really get done in a minute? You can't really do anything in one minute. Except burpees, that'll feel like 10 years. Not only do you only need to wear them for one minute, they also act as a conditioner, a hair mask, and a leave-in. So I'm usually kind of leery about things that claim that they could do everything. I think there's a reason why we have shampoo and conditioner, and when people try to make like those shampoo and conditioner combos, I'm like, mm. Why? Usually one of these little guys, let's see, these are 3.4 fluid ounces just for one bottle, and they're usually around $3 each. So in this little gift box, you're getting five for $10, so you're kind of getting buy three, get two free. So that's what made me buy this. Now let me open this up for you so you guys can get a better look at what it looks like. So here's the size. It's not a lot of product, only 3.4 fluid ounces, has a little twist top, you probably can get, I don't know, it depends on how much hair you have. But if you do this once a week, I'm thinking it could last you at least maybe a month or two, unless you're my friend Gio from Gio's Wave YouTube channel. So probably just get your ends. But right on the bottle it says that all of these masks are vegan, 94% biodegradable formula, no silicones, no parabens, no artificial colorants. It doesn't say no sulfate, but don't freak out because conditioners usually don't have sulfate. Sulfate is a cleaning agent that's usually found in our shampoos. So that's why I really hate when companies think they're slick and they'll put like sulfate free on their conditioner bottles when it's not supposed to be in there anyways. That's like a company saying, oh, this peanut butter and jelly sandwich is now ketchup free obviously so today I'm going to do a little first impressions of these masks and I'm gonna use all of them on my hair at one time so I'm gonna section my hair into five sections and apply each mask to that section so without further ado let's start applying all these masks to my curls Starting on freshly washed hair straight out the shower, I did use shampoo and conditioner. I detangled with conditioner. So let's see how much detangling there is left to do. But I am gonna split my hair into five sections so that I can try every single mask. So let's see, we'll do two here. In the back, four and five. Let's go ahead and start with the crowd favorite. I did post this on my Instagram, and a lot of you guys said that the avocado one was your favorite, so let's try it. So this is the Garnet Fruity Smoothing Treatment One Minute Hair Mask with Avocado Extract. Ooh, it smells really good. I'm actually one of the only people, especially in California, that doesn't like avocado. 
but it smells really good. So I'm gonna get that much. I really like the smell. It has a very fruity smell. And let's just really saturate our hair. Ooh, I feel like it would have good slip if I didn't already detangle. But let's just go through what I have left. Yeah, not bad. Section number one is complete. Next up, I'm gonna try the one with banana extract. This one is supposed to be a strengthening treatment. Oh yeah, this one definitely smells like banana. So if you don't like the smell of banana, you're not gonna like it. But if you do, you're gonna love it. Let's use a little more of this. Oh yeah, this is like banana pudding. Now for the section in the back here, I'm gonna grab the one that's for damage repair. A lot of you guys probably experience a lot of frizz in the very back of your head. It's probably because you're taking really hot showers and that hot water is kinda almost damaging the back of your head if you're sitting under that hot water for too long. And the damage repair has a papaya extract. Hmm. I don't think I like the smell of this one. There's a... It starts off with papaya, then it kind of gives you like a weird, funky after smell. I don't know about this one. It almost smells rotten. Still very smooth. Really good slip, actually. Hmm. Now let's grab a probably very reliable one, which is their coconut extract. We have coconut in basically all of our curly hair products and it smells like coconut. And last but not least is the one for color vibrancy. This has goji extract. Hmm. This one has a more tarty smell, like a fruit tart. And I'm gonna apply this to the front of my hair because that's where you will see most of my color at the front of my face. And this one's supposed to be good for color treated hair. They all seem to have a similar sense of slip. Granted, I did already detangle in the shower, so it's not a real fair test. I'll probably have to try this again another day. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you can see when I use it again on my full head. All right, now I'm gonna put all of this up and away. Ah, <sighs> curly hair problems. So starting right now, I'm gonna let this sit for one full minute now that they're all in place. And I'll rinse it out. If you're really pressed for time and you wanna speed up the whole process, I would definitely recommend getting a thermal hair care heat cap. I put this in the microwave so now it's nice and warm. So now this will really help penetrate that product into our hair even faster. All right, time is up. Now I'm going to rinse this off and we'll see how my hair feels. And I'm back, I rinsed all of them out, but I kept them in their little ponytails. So now that I've tried all of them, I think that my favorite smells would have to go to the avocado one and the coconut one. In regards to moisture, I was really surprised by how moisturized this back piece was, which is one where I put all the damage repair. It feels very smooth, very soft, and very moisturized. This was my least favorite smell, unfortunately, but it really did a good job. So this front part was for color vibrancy. I do think that my curls look very pretty. This is where most of my color is. This is probably something that I will notice even more over time, but for the first time, I guess it's more vibrant. This section right here also felt very moisturized. This was the coconut section. But all in all, I'm very happy with the consistency, the slip, and majority of the smells. So now let's take them all out. Let's join them all to be one happy family again. I just did a quick rinse in the sink, but even if I miss some, it's actually okay because this can also be used as a leave-in. I think I'm gonna go with the avocado one because everyone has been raving about the avocado. So I'm grabbing a little bit more. Rubbing it together. Man, I'm just gonna smell like a fruit cocktail after this. Or maybe I should 
should do half and half. I'm just gonna go crazy today. Why not? So I have the avocado on this side and I'm gonna use the coconut one on this side. Don't try this at home, kids. This is just for experimenting purposes. So to top it off, I'm gonna add some of my Diva Curl Super Cream to really get these curls popping. And I'm back now. My curls are dried, beautiful, styled, and moisturized. Let's get a good little look. They look very defined, very shiny, very healthy. Now this is just a first impressions video. I haven't been able to spend a lot of time with them because there are five different masks. So if I only wash my hair once a week, you guys wanna get this review for another month. So just make sure to keep checking in with me on Instagram and watch my story so I can give you guys updates on how each mask works individually. So overall, I am one, just really happy to see that Garnier Fruities has created a sulfate paraben silicone free product. Appreciate it. I do like how these masks felt when I applied them. They felt very moisturizing. The slip did seem pretty good. I do wanna try it on a more tangled day. But for $3, I think it's worth a try. I believe that the more time you could leave a hair mask on your hair, the better. I mean, at least 20 minutes. But if you literally only have like one to five minutes to wash your hair, this is a good alternative because I'd rather you do a one minute mask than no mask at all. I would recommend trying to go to Walmart and finding this little gift box because this is a great like sample size. So you could try all of them and they do have a size larger than this. So maybe if you find one that you really like, you could just go back and get the larger size of your favorite. But I wanna know your opinion. For those of you that have tried these, please let us all know why you liked them or why you didn't. If you want more curly hair videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, makeup and skincare videos on Friday and curly hair product reviews on Sunday. You also should follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so we could become even better acquainted. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee today.